hi guys again with a new video in this video I'm going to design a two-way slab with beams as shown here in this example this example is example number 19.2 from PCA notes of ACI 31808 as per this example in X direction the base are 22 feet apart and in y direction the spacing of the base are 17 and a half feet the story height is 12 feet edge beam dimensions are 14 by 27 interior beam are 12 by 20 column dimensions are 18 by 18 slab thickness is 6 inch service load is 100 there is no superimposed dead load f dash c and f y s as usual 4000 and 60000 psi so let us model this the slab so we will go to new model since this is a two-way slab so we will select this two-way slab design code ACI 31808 preferences yeah minimum cover premium bar size let be number four okay uh, US customary units that's fine so let it be to Islam so our columns are 18 inch by 18 inch so a distance will be 9 inch that means 7.75 feet on the right hand side 0.75 feet number of base 3 and x direction they are 22 feet apart in y direction same edge distance 0.75 feet 9 inches 0.75 feet 3 and 17 and a half feet so here we will put 17.5 feet this is a, a 6 inch thick slab let us specify 6 inch column size 18 inch by 18 inch the story height is 12 sorry uh, dead load superimposed dead load will be 0 live load is 100 now beam beam in x direction they are 14 by 27 beam in y direction let us take 14 by 27 the same okay fine so here is our model now there are four beams defined over here let's see what these beams are materials of course concrete 4000 psi steel a615 grade 60 slab properties 6 inch 4000 psi now the beams are now they have converted this beam into a T beam along with the flange width and different flange, flange widths are taken beam number 2 yeah you can see so for the time being let it be for the defaults flange width is 66 because it is based on the recommended code I can show you whenever there is a beam and the flange is uh, monolithically uh, the, the slab is monolithically constructed so our beam should be treated as a T beam so that's why the beams are converted into T beams and the edge beams are converted in L shape beam so here is the L shape beam so they are all converted by default like this let's go back to the model uh, the, the problem
So we have already defined the load pattern, dead and live, load cases, load combinations we have to define. Let us define the load combinations. It should be as per the design, only strength load combination we should consider. As usual, the first one will be dead multiplied by 1.4, the second one will be dead multiplied by 1.2 and live multiplied by 1.6. So these are the default load combinations. Let's save the model. Let's see the design combinations. Uh, both the design combinations are already dead there. Run. We can see the bars as usual. Our bars are four, number four. Okay. Let it be layer one or layer A and we will see second time layer B. So here are the bars. We don't want the fill, we want the values. So here you can see that the number of bars and the bar dimensions all are given into much detail. So this is in X direction. Similarly, we can display the slab design reinforcement bar in another direction. So these are the bars in another direction. Now, when we compare with this, unfortunately, the design is not complete over here. Only up to the distributed or uh, shared moments are there. But uh, when I check, I check that these bars are fine. These bars are in line with the with the, the with the calculation. So we can simply use. Uh, safe 2016 to design our two-way slabs. We can go and run detailing. Yes. In details, we have very detailed drawing. This is the plan. Sections are there. The first is the drawing list. This is the drawing list, then general notes, rebar shapes, these are the rebar shapes, beam curtailment, slab or column strip curtailment, mid strip curtailment, then we have the slab views, this is the framing plan, rebar table, Rebar schedule is not there, bill of quantities. These are the beam. So anyway, these are the final drawings. You can see this is a very detailed drawing. Gender notes, rebar shapes, codes, everything. This is the slab framing plan. Beam framing plan. See here. You can see all these informations are there. Top reinforcement.
these are the bottom reinforcement you can see very detailed specifications are there slab sections these are the slab sections these are the beam elevations beam d bars so all details are provided over here these are the beam sections very detailed information is there all the sections are available that means it can generate up to the ifc level drawings these are the beam elevations all information is are there beam sections are there so now we can transfer these to to autocad export drawing we can export drawing in better dxf format so that we can open with autocad all sheets it will take little time yeah we will export all sheets we will export to slab by sfe okay that is the directory we start export done so we can open those drawings let me close this one let's save the file close let me start autocad let me open the file yeah here are the example 19 framing rebar let me open any uh, any one say for example this beam framing plan so you can see this is the beam framing plan i can open one more drawing beam rebars here are the beam elevation and the rebar you can see how nice the drawings are prepared you just have to convert into your own format so the drawings are ready perfect drawings are there all the sections are there the rebars are marked everything is there let me open one more slab rebar bottom bars here are the slab bottom bars you can see how nice the drawings are this you can fill you can change the 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 border as per your office uh, practice this is the framing plan bottom bars are there all the details are provided bars are there so that means you can generate an ifc level drawings without any problem so that is enough hopefully please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you very much bye